My Gaming Edge. Hey everybody, this is Platinum from MyGamingEdge.com, and today I'm going to be going over a demo of our most recent match against EMG on Pro Viaduct. Uh, something I want you guys to keep in mind while you're watching this is uh, our strategy is a little bit different than it would be on, say, uh, a CP map because because of this map's terrain um, and the spawn timings and the actual goal, soldiers are a lot less important to keep alive than scouts and demo men are. Um, normally on CP maps, like if your pocket goes down, you really you can't you can't advance on the map. But on Viaduct, it's it's really different. Um, especially when you don't have the point because your respawn times are so much faster that uh, our strategy going into this was to basically have me and Relic, the two soldiers, just put as much damage into their other into their team as possible before our scouts and our demo men go down. So uh, if I can do anything during this whole match to keep my scouts and demo and medic alive and sacrifice myself, I'm going to do it. So uh, just keep that in mind going through this uh, match and uh, yeah, let's get into it. Yeah, go ahead and start the demo now. Alright, so this first round we're going to go up top right to the cliff, and uh, we're hoping that somebody's going to overextend into us, uh, which is usually going to be Mackie. Um, he's usually the one to initiate for their team, so as soon as I see him over on the left side, I know he's not going to overextend into us, so we decided to drop. And uh, I did a couple, couple nice shots there, but I ate a pill from Banny, and then Tyrone jumped me and killed me, which was unfortunate. So, and then Relic, of course, tries to go in and make something happen uh, as I go down, and then we end up losing that fight. But our medic got out, um, and that, so that's okay. So we should be able to get Uber pretty quickly and go back and push this point. Um, our scout just went down, but with the respawn times, if we get into an Uber fight now, and I can kill anybody, we'll have the advantage and be able to take this point back on our next push so we want to get out there as quick as possible not waste any time so yeah now we're dropping off the cliff and uh, we're gonna try and get into them soon but uh, I'm gonna have you pause it here in three two one pause it okay as you can see we're over on the left side of the point and uh, Tyrone decided to use his uber aggressively to pop us so I know that Blackie's going to have to pop in, in a second, so my immediate thought is that since we have these respawn times, I have to either do as much damage to everybody as I can or get a quick kill. And uh, as soon as the Uber wears off, I want to be in a position where I can distract so that Ducky and Blackie can stay alive when they're collapsing on our Uber and um, uh, maybe get some more kills because as many kills as we can get right now, it's going to help us even if we don't get the point we're gonna be able to um, retake it on our next push just because of the respawn times alone. Um, so let's go ahead and resume the demo now. Uh, as you can see I see that scout and I pick him off real quick and now I'm just making a distraction by jumping away. Tyrone falls for it and uh, saves Blackie's life and I'm able to get a kill on him. But now we're, we're outnumbered so uh, and Blackie went down so my my thought process is Banny's their best player I need to make sure he dies so that uh, on our next push, Ducky will be able to out damage them, and uh, w we should be able to take the point just because Banny will be dead for a long time. Um, and as you can see, that's probably what's going to happen right now. These Ducky gets a kill, Moose gets the medic, so now we're in sitting pretty. Ducky gets another kill, um, all because I was able to pick off Banny right there at the end, or else he would have been able to keep us out of the fight. So now, uh, now we have the point, and uh, we have Uber advantage. So we want to try and get this as quickly as possible, and uh, hold. Our scouts tend to play up more while we hold back, um, trying to keep our medics safe. But we really can't afford any deaths because of the respawn times. We're at 90% right now, and they go one down. So that's this is good news for us. We should be able to hold this pretty easily. So we know they're not going to have Uber, so. I'm probably thinking we should go into them right now. Um, that's exactly what we're going to do. What I should have done, and you'll see it comes to bite me in the ass later, uh, I go. I should have went and jumped their medic and tried to pick him off even though there were three people there. Um, but you'll see in a, in a couple seconds they're going to come back in with Uber and retake this point.
Yeah, they're pushing cliff right now, and it's because I made the mistake earlier, I have to make them pop, and hopefully my team can get out um, and stay alive. But we, we go four down. Um, Blackie ends up going down here. Really nice play from Clockwork. But, uh, yeah, now we have the respawn advantage. We got a fresh start. Uh, their, their Uber was popped, so we have to get just get out there and make it a DM fight and try and take this point back with our respawn time. This is this ends up being pretty unfortunate. I, I nailed the medic for a good rocket, but Mackie was sitting in a hiding spot right above our medic and ends up picking him off. That was that was a mistake by my part. Like I didn't I didn't look up to see if he was hiding there. Like I know how he plays, like I should do that all the time, but you know things happen in the match and you don't really you can't really focus that well. Now they're sitting pretty at a huge Uber advantage and we only have a minute left to cap this point, um, so we're gonna try to make a play right now and get as many kills as we can and make them pop so that we have a chance to hold it or cap the point and then maybe hold it after. I get body shot by the sniper, which is unfortunate, and then B Blackie goes down to him. So this round's pretty much over. So right now I'm just talking to my team, telling them to stay calm, you know, stay focused, just stick to our game plan. We had a couple unlucky breaks that first round. Really anything at this point is just a suicide play to get some frags, but there's no way we're going to win this round, so so I'm mainly gearing up for uh, the next round, just talking to my team, deciding on what we're going to do. Yeah, they Uber, and points theirs. Alright, so we're down We're down 1-0. It's not, not a big deal. Um, this map this map's uh, kind of weird like that. Um, one round doesn't really make or break you. But we're going to try and do the same thing. But uh, we're hoping that Mackie's going to overextend into us like he was supposed to do the first round. And Ducky sets up a trap on the rock. And uh, as soon as he picks anybody with, with that, then we should be able to push up. Here comes Mackie overextending, and now he's dead. Now, immediately, everybody should push up. Uh... Tyrone distracted me for a little bit, but um, our scouts and demo were able to clean up, and I was able to keep our medic alive, so we end up taking the point. Right now, we almost have Uber, so I'm telling people not to die, but, you know, Moose is, Moose is hungry for kills, so he goes in. Um, they end up doing, like, kind of stupid Uber there. Uh, Sizer didn't really want it, I don't think, but... Uh, he ends up going down during our uber fight, and now we sh we're trying to collapse on them as they're backing out. So, you see how I initiated there and tried to get as much damage into them as possible? Um, like, Tyrone's gonna go down here soon, and he's their main caller, so when he's down, like, the rest of their team has no idea what to do. Alright, so now we have, we had a pretty good hold, um, I think we're around the same Uber. Uh, I don't think CB went down, but uh, we have the point, so we really can't afford to die. Uh, that's the main thing. If you're on, if you have the point, you can't afford to die. Like if they suicide in and kill one of your players, uh, it's their it's their advantage, even if they die. Um, this is kind of a stupid spot for Blackie to hold after they saw him, um, and Banny takes advantage of it right away, makes us pop early. Um, so as soon as I see that, I try and get do as much damage as possible, but uh, I didn't really do anything. We got one scout, but it's not much. What happens here is uh, I make them pop, I guess, but I end up going down, which is fine, because I'm expecting them to take over the point right now. And as many kills as we can get on them before they cap is great, because we have faster respawns now. It's like a 10 second swing when you switch, when you switch, uh, switch who's possessing the point. So, right now, we have 55%. Our Uber should be relatively the same, I think. I don't know, at this point. But we have respawn advantages. So what we want to do is we want to get in there and not let any more time get off this clock. Um, I'm trying to slow push it so we actually get this Uber. Uh, they have a sniper, so I don't want Blackie to get killed again. So I'm just going to tell him to pop, and I think we go into them right away. 
So I don't think... See, Tyrone goes down here, and their medic's playing like he's about to have it. So I immediately make a call to kill him. So the scout does damage with me, and we're able to take him out. What Our mistake here, though, is that nobody's on the actual point. So everyone goes down, but it should be an easy cap for us um, after that. And we, we only lost a minute, so we're still up 40 seconds. So we're in pretty good shape right now. Um, their medics probably spawned right now, so we have about... 10% on them, maybe. It's not anything to uh, to brag about, but two of their players go down and our players stay alive, which is great news. This is huge, though. Our demo's down and they have their demo, so... If you notice, every time that they almost have the point, we, we go suiciding in, like, balls-to-the-wall aggression, because if they take the point right then... Any, anyone who died is going to respawn in four seconds anyway, so it really, like, there's no downside to attacking them right when they're about to cap. And like you just saw, I mean, we, we just bought ourselves 45 seconds um, because we actually saved the point. So now we have Uber again, they're going to have to make another push on this point. I'm able to get a scout, and now I chase down the sniper um, with the Uber. And now, really, we want to uh, fall back to the point. Like, they're three down at 15 seconds left. They're not going to be able to make a really good coordinated push on this. And even if they do... Uh, I think I got the call from our scout that a medic was really hurt and he almost had Uber. So, even though we give up this point with one second left, now everything's in our favor. Ducky just got a kill. Their medic's down still. And we have 40%. So we're going to get a free uber push or just a regular push onto this point with two seconds left. We're, this round is ours. Um, so we just make a point right when everybody is healed, or make a push when everybody's healed. And we just get on the point and start doing damage. Relics into them, distracting them. And as soon as we cap this, we're going to get it. So that's that round. Now it's 1-1. Now we're feeling a little more comfortable in our strategy. We just won a round by a minute 30. Uh, we're feeling pretty good. So we're going to try the same thing, because I don't, I don't know, I just think Mackie's going to keep bombing in like he does, um, and Ducky has a trap set up for him already. Um, as soon as he gets in here, he dies, and uh, we all push up immediately. I put some good damage into the demo, uh, which is always huge, because if their demo's out of the fight and ours is in it, we win every time. Just, just like that, Banny was out because I did that initial damage, and uh, Ducky was able to get a couple kills. It's just that scout left and we should be okay. They managed to get our medic, but uh, it should be okay. So you're gonna, as you can see, our scouts are relentless, so the longer they stay up, the, the harder it is for EMG. And uh, that's what I try and do. We give this point up, for the respawn advantages alone, and as soon as I get out there with Relic, we're, we're probably going to bomb in and start the fight and get the point right back. As you can see, it's not so much about holding the point, when it's about it's about who can hold the point longer. Um, they, they had crits, and that was a good change. Nobody saw it, and uh, they were able to wipe us pretty much, so what we're going to do is get right back out there in the uh, in one second because we all spawn before their medic who actually went down so we're gonna have heals and they won't so the faster we can get out there and start fighting the better we decided to go left side for whatever reason we got a call come out left and help our scout so right now I'm playing kind of like overextended away from my team instead of on the point um, yeah, I ended up dying there. We capped, but... I mean, this is just all the rest of my team. I literally did nothing in this fight. What I should have done, as soon as I saw their whole team over to the right, is I should have bombed on top of them, or jumped on top of the house and distracted them. Um, but instead, I, I stood there, tried to fight the two scouts, and they just tore me apart, so... Right now, I'm just trying to do as much damage to these players as possible while Moose just shreds through them. So, everything that Moose is shooting, I'm trying to shoot and help him out because he, he can finish up everything a lot better than I can. So, uh, we end up holding it, and now we're, we're up on time, so we're in good shape. But, 
since they went crits, we're trying to like be pretty careful. We gotta see their medic and uh, hope that nothing goes wrong. Uh, as soon as I see their combo on top right, I'm pr I'm probably telling yeah I'm telling Blackie to get over to the left side so that so that we don't lose this. We're gonna have to give this point up. Our two scouts went down and our soldier, and Blackie ends up getting stabbed, which is unfortunate. So I probably want to make them pop here, but. Uh, scout flanked me and I just died. So yeah, it's the same same thing. We're just going to all get healed up and make a push out uh, right away because we still have 20 seconds more time than they do. Enigma's on them and Banny goes down, which is huge. So as long as we keep Ducky up, we should win this fight regardless of if they have Uber or not because Uber's not nearly as useful on this map. Scout goes down. I'm trying to get out there to help my team. Mackie almost picks Blackie there, but uh, yeah, we got him. Uh, there are three dead right there. There was another one that died right before, so we're going to get on this point and cap it as fast as we can. They should still have Uber unless somebody picked their medic somehow, um, or they're just waiting. I don't know. Yeah, their demo uh, just jumped top right, um, and their combo's left, so I I'm really like paranoid about their demo so that's why you see me keep looking back and forth at him uh, even though their combos over left I, I, I should have helped my team left but Banny is their team so if I can keep him out of the fight and stop him from getting any kills then my goal as a soldier on this map is done usually on a CP map I would go immediately after my medic gets popped and try to make something happen but it's way better if I am stacked fully healed here, waiting for them to come to me. So that's exactly what I do. Um, as soon as I see them up top, I jump them and try and kill their medic, but unfortunately I fail horribly. Um, Relic goes down as well. Ducky does some damage, but... Their heavy goes down, and uh, our soldiers are down, but that's fine, because our scouts are just gonna shred through their entire team. That's why it's so much more important for a soldier to suicide at the right time on this map than a scout to make them pop or kill their medic or whatever. Just Scouts are so powerful on this map. And because of our scouts we were able to you know hold that point till overtime again. So now I mean Relic's doing work with this Uber. He got their demo which is the main you know focus. Now there are two scouts up and a medic. Even if they take this point back and beat us, if we keep Blackie alive and out of it, then we're going to be able to push back because their demo is going to still be dead. See, so here's Blackie. So immediately, we have a minute and 20 of fast response to cap this point. It doesn't matter what their man advantage is. Or, like, we just got their medic. Ducky got their medic. So I'm trying to take out Banny as quickly as possible, and, I'm, and I do it. It doesn't matter if everybody else dies. Danny's dead. The next push, we're going to take this no matter what. Because they're not going to have a demo, and we will. And Ducky just happens to get two kills and clean up, and we're going to cap it anyway before I get back there, I think. But, you know, you might not agree with it, but it's just a law. It's a numbers law. Like, like Banny does so much damage. If he's dead, we're going to outdamage them and take the point back. And that's exactly what we did. So now we're up 2 1, feeling pretty good. Um, I don't. I don't recall what we plan on doing. I guess we're going left outside to middle this time. Banny's on the right. One scout's on the left. Tyrone jumps up aggressively and gets blasted away. Um, I'm really hurt, so I really can't do much. So all I'm trying to do is... As soon as our scouts go down, I'm saying back up. We need to keep this Uber and then be able to push back on the point. Alright, so we get the Uber. We're gonna push out and try and pick off any overextenders immediately, and then uh, we just need to get kills. That's that's really all you have to do when you're when you're pushing out and they have the point. You just get as many kills as possible. I put a lot of damage into the demo, but Blackie gets body shotted. But it's not not the biggest thing in the world because their medic popped unprovoked. Um, he probably thought that he wasn't gonna get that pick on me. 
or on on black I mean uh, but now we have faster respawn so as as soon as our, my team spawns we're just gonna get out here I kind of get caught out here but it's whatever as soon as my team spawns and gets healed everyone's just gonna push and my scouts are healed and they are just swarming on the whole team you can just see how powerful scouts are on this map by what our, our scouts just did to their entire team they they literally killed everybody um so uh, it was an easy cap for us. That's really what I want to um, what I want to emphasize is that if you can keep your scouts and demo alive for your life, that's that's you've done your job as a soldier. This map's really not good for soldier. Like uh, right now, I'm trying to keep Blackie alive. Uh, we have 85 percent, and one of their players just went down. So. I'm probably going to push into them um, as soon as I get this uber because they're sitting in a low area and if we can get their medic then we are going to hold this point for another minute. Uh, I wasn't able to get the medic. Banny goes down so their hopes of pushing are pretty much nullified even though we had to pop. So we just gained at least another 30 seconds just by playing a little bit ag aggressive on them. Now, because I know they have Uber, as soon as I see them, their medic, I'm going to attack them. I didn't want... I, I wanted Ducky's Sticky Trap to actually hit something, so that's why I didn't jump into them and make them pop early. Uh, but it didn't end up working out, and I missed the health back on the way down. Um, but at, oh, what other teams tend to do is overextend after they cap the point because they think they have a huge advantage on health or numbers or whatever but that's the worst thing that you can do because as soon as we get a couple kills on those overextenders points are ours, just like that they they gain maybe 15 seconds from that play and I mean we have full uber ad advantage now and we're playing an aggressive hold so even if they push out this right side uh, we're gonna make them pop and be able to fall back um, Banny does the right thing uh, he, he goes and makes us pop but now they're two down and uh, I'm trying to make a play on the medic here at spawn but he's playing in a smart position in spawn there's nothing I can do so I'm just gonna get back to the point regroup with my team and uh, just see what they do again the spy I mean that's like a free pick for us like Blackie didn't have Uber, there's no reason for him to have gone spy, so uh, we're going to just keep fighting this for as long as we can. Usually our cue to push up is when we get a two-man advantage, and we didn't get that, so um, I'm not sure if they popped or not, uh, I don't remember, but we have 75, so we're just going to, my job right now is to make sure Blackie gets this Uber and protect him, even if it means that I'm going to die. He's got 90%, and they know it, so they're going to attack. So I hear the soldier rocket jump and I kill him. I get a call that a scout's up there too, and even though I die, they're two dead now, and we have full uber advantage. So we're going to push this immediately. That's what I'm telling my team. Uh, what I usually do while I'm dead is I'll stay on one person uh, in spec mode, especially on this map, uh, who's engaged, and I'll call everything they're hitting so that my scouts know exactly what to do. So that's why I just stayed on Relic's screen for the most part and everything he hit I would call how much let you know how much they got hit for and we ended up you know shredding through them and now all we have is uh, 25 seconds to hold this and my job right now is to put as much damage out as possible and make sure the blackie stays alive because even if they take this back we want that uber to push right back in And uh, as you can see, I failed my job, but you know we have two people alive. Uh, they have crits because Banny knew that Relic was there. Uh, Relic jumped up right when he saw the crits, which, which is exactly what we wanted him to do. And it distracted Banny. Moose was able to kill him, and then we capped the point and round over. So you know, Relic did the same thing that I would have done right there: is attack, you know, attack them when uh, you know it doesn't. It doesn't matter if you die. 
As long as your scouts and demos stay alive, that's the that's the key to this map. Soldiers are really underpowered on this map, so you want to do as much damage as frequently as possible. All right. Well, that was the first half of the of the match, and uh, you know it's really hectic. It's kind of hard to see what's going on. It's really fast, and you're always fighting. Uh, so for the for the next round, I'm going to kind of go over a couple situations uh, in slow motion, so you can kind of see, you know, the, the snap decisions that I make and why. Uh, or what happens because of those decisions. Uh, so right now I'm paused at 27.45 on the demo and um, we got a call from our scout that their combo was holding top left so I immediately tell everyone to get out um, you know the right side. They have just come back uh, and ubered and took the point over uh, and they had a sniper while they did it so I'm guessing that the sniper is holding house to try and you know back up their combo on left so what we want to try and do is get out uh, as fast as we can on the right side and get into them while they're, you know, panicking that our whole team is going behind them. Um, if we can stay together and me and Relic can do initial damage, then we're going to win this fight. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to resume this in, in about 5 seconds at 50% speed. Um, let's go ahead and resume in 3, 2, 1, now. Okay, so we have everybody with us. Um, we only have 20% Uber, but they can't have any more than 50 or 60. So I saw the sniper, and he luckily he missed a shot. So as soon as I saw that, I jumped over into that huge group of people and did a ton of damage to everybody there. Uh, their demo goes down, always huge. Soldier, medic. Our medic goes down, but their scout goes down, and this one's about to go down as well. Now, the only one that's left is their sniper. Um, so, I'm going to pause it again right here. Uh, that was a 50% speed, and it was still really fast. Um, because we got that snap call from our scout saying that their combo's playing on cliff aggressively, we're going to go as fast as we can right, and we're going to flank around them and catch them when they're retreating. That's the easiest way to kill anybody in this game. Uh, so, you can see, as soon as that sniper took his one shot, and he missed me and my medic, I immediately got aggressive and put a good 300 damage into their team, taking out their demo and their soldier. And we ended up capping right away. And we're still in good shape. We're 20 seconds ahead of them on the clock, and we just capped, and they all just died. Now, there were a couple more uh, exchanges of the point uh, for the rest of this match, or for this round, I should say, because we ended up winning uh, the round. Uh, just by doing the same thing, the same things that I've been saying the whole time, uh, you know, when we, when we don't have the point, everybody gets healed, and we all push at the same time uh, and get as many kills as we can, and we just play the respawn numbers. And uh, if we don't have a good advantage and they're pushing the point, we just let them take the point, wait until they make a mistake or we get an advantage, and we push it right back, and we just minimize the time that they get when they cap the point. That's the main thing that we were trying to emphasize the entire game, and it ended up working out for us. So, uh, you know, I hope this provides a little bit of insight into Viaduct because even myself for the longest time I had you know a lot of struggles as a soldier on this map because it's it's hard to play as a soldier uh, it's really frustrating when a scout you know can jump around everywhere and you can't hit him uh, but you know I feel your pain and uh, this is you know the best way I feel that you can contribute to your team is just to you know serve as a distraction put as much damage into your, their team as you can and make sure that you can by doing that, you can keep your medic, your demo, and ideally your scouts alive while you do damage and then you end up dying. Now, I'm not saying that you should just be jumping around like a lunatic looking for every single opportunity to suicide. That's not what I'm saying. You have to pick your spots and make sure that it's at the right time when you know that the only thing that you're going to be able to pull off is, you know, attacking them. If you don't think that you're going to be able to accomplish anything, just fall back. There's nothing, nothing can go wrong if you just fall back, wait till you get Uber, and then push right back with the respawn advantage. Um, uh, I hope you guys learned something. Uh, this is Platinum from MyGamingEdge.com.